Welcome to the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Thursday, May 26th. This is Gina McGuire. We are not expecting any significant increases to fire potential this week as we still have cool and moist conditions across the Great Basin with showers and thunderstorms continuing and also grasses are still green in most areas with the exception of some of the lower elevations where grasses are starting to cure. Over the last 24 hours, we have seen showers and thunderstorms across especially the northern half of Nevada into Idaho, Wyoming, and northern Utah. And again, we did see quite a bit of lightning with these showers as well, but most areas saw wetting rains. Over the last week, which includes the precipitation up to what we saw yesterday, and we did see precipitation really over the northern half of the Great Basin, and the area across Idaho, far northern Utah, Wyoming, and northern Nevada was above normal for this time of year, along with some above normal precipitation into the Sierra and the southern portion of the Carson District. Otherwise, very little precipitation fell over the central portion of the Great Basin, with no precipitation over southern Nevada and southwest Utah. Looking at the fuels conditions leading up into this week, we still have ERCs below the 50th percentile. However, ERCs over the southern half of the Great Basin have really been increasing over the last couple of days in some of the areas that have not seen rainfall. Looking at live fuel moisture, and we're still near to above average across the Great Basin. The water vapor satellite loop from this morning shows this trough of low pressure now moving eastward into the eastern side of the Great Basin. And this will continue moving eastward with most of the showers and thunderstorms today over the eastern half of the area. However, yet another area of low pressure up into southwest Canada will drop southeast in the northern part of the Great Basin. And this will keep our cool and showery weather in place over the next several days. Today we will continue to see low fire potential across the Great Basin with some drier areas over parts of northern Arizona and southwest Colorado. Looking at the weather today, the image on the left is wind speed today, and you can see generally southwest to northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour with some breezy winds over southern Idaho, and still showery conditions with showers and thunderstorms over the eastern half of the Great Basin. There may also be a few isolated showers and thunderstorms into the Sierra. However, we'll likely see less precipitation than what we've seen the last couple of days. Looking at the weather pattern for Friday, this main trough of low pressure is now well off to the east. However, again, another area of low pressure in the northwest will dominate our weather pattern over the next several days with continued showers, however, still low fire potential with these cooler and showery conditions. On Friday, northwest winds will blanket the Great Basin with speeds of generally 8 to 12 miles per hour and some gusts around 20 miles per hour. We may see a little bit less shower activity across Nevada and southwest Idaho on Friday, but still keeping some showers and thunderstorms over the central Idaho mountains into Utah and Wyoming, and still possibly a few isolated cells over the central Sierra. By Saturday, we still have low pressure in the northwest, and still some moisture trapped across the Great Basin, with still low fire potential. Winds will be much lighter on Saturday across the Great Basin, with still continued threats for showers and thunderstorms, over much of Nevada and Utah into Wyoming, and also showers in the central Idaho mountains. Snow levels will also be lower, so we will see some snow in the higher elevations. Looking at the overall forecast amount of precipitation through early Sunday morning, and you can generally see across parts of the central Sierra into Nevada and Utah, anywhere from a quarter to just over a half inch of precipitation is possible, same up in the central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming. Now we'll look at the weather pattern from Sunday through the middle of next week. Still a trough condition across most of the west on Sunday with some showery weather and some thunderstorms still across parts of Nevada, Utah, and the central Idaho mountains, which again will keep fire potential low. As we move into Monday, we see a stronger ridge of high pressure developing along the west coast, and this will bring warmer and drier weather to the western and southern half of the Great Basin by Monday, but still some showery conditions across central Idaho. However, we're still expecting low fire potential in the Great Basin. As we move into Tuesday and Wednesday next week, this stronger ridge of high pressure starts to move eastward over the Great Basin, and this will likely bring warm and dry conditions to the entire area with temperatures 5 to 10 degrees above normal. This will bring a more rapid drying to our fuels across the Great Basin, and we may eventually, towards the end of next week or next weekend, start to see some of our areas in the southern and central portion of the Great Basin transition to yellow on our dryness map, indicating increasing fire potential as we go into the month of June. Looking at the overall forecast amount of precipitation, that takes us from early Sunday through early Tuesday. And you, again, you can see this much lesser amounts of precipitation across the Great Basin, with most of the shower activity occurring on Sunday into Monday. Looking at the first week of June, and we're likely to see this warmer and drier pattern continue as we move into the middle of the month. Again, this will allow our fuels to rapidly dry across the Great Basin. 
That concludes our briefing for today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us or follow us on Twitter. Thank you for listening.